Welcome to CDA Expo 2023 in Denver, Colorado. There's plenty of projector action here at the show. Let's go have a look. Here at Kaleidoscape, the brand whose movie server needs no introduction, it is by far the preferred industry standard for high-end home theaters. It's actually appearing in 41 of the exhibit booths at this show. What's new here is the new Terra Prime solid state servers. Uh, these are the company's first servers that are compatible with 2.5 gigabit ethernet networks. They've got a 31 terabyte version uh, that'll store up to 500 movies and a small eight terabyte version uh, that'll do 125 films. I'm here at the digital projection booth with one of our CDA Expo 2023 Best of Show Award winners. This is the Highlight Satellite MLS 4K UHD reference system. 4K projection head, barely a cubic foot around, extremely quiet, allows you to put this in living spaces where you'd never think of putting a 10,000 lumen behemoth projector, and yet that's what you get. These modules on the side, there's a laser module, 10,000 lumens. You can stack two of them if you need to to get up to 20,000 lumens and a satellite control module over there. One of the highlights here at CD is the Leica Cine 1 USD projector. This is a brand new luxury model from the company that is best known for lenses and cameras. It is a 3000 lumen triple laser RGB projector using a Leica Summicron lens as well as Leica optimized image quality and uh, beautiful aluminum housing with a sliding uh, dust cover. Price tag, $9,945 for the 120-inch version. We're at the Hisense booth where the company is showing off its full range of ultra short throw projectors for the 2023 model year. Uh, these projectors were all shown at CES, but they are finally shipping into the market now for the holiday selling season. Uh, you've got the L9H and L5H bundles. The L9H is their flagship, one of our Projector Central Best of Show Award winners for Cedia. Uh, that product is a 3000 lumen triple laser uh, with wide color gamut, uh, ships with either a 100 inch Fresnel screen or a 120 inch lenticular screen. Uh, the L5H similarly ships at either of those two focal lengths with those two same screens. Uh, that is a 2700 lumen single laser model. Now the two adjustable lens projectors include the PX2 Pro, that's an update from last year's PX1 Pro. Uh, that projector is 2700 lumens, triple laser, wide color gamut. The last model is the PL1H, that's a single laser budget projector, it goes from 80 to 120 inches, and uh, all four of the models this year have two key updates. The first being that Hisense has gone from an Android TV platform to a new Google TV platform that actually has a working Netflix app. Additionally, all four of the projectors you see are come right out of the box with Dolby Vision HDR along with HDR10. Draper is here promoting its new Styline family of fixed frame screens. The company is trying to make life easier for installers by allowing you to get your screen selection down to three different options. Uh, one, of course, is the material. You can choose from any of the TechVision family of materials. Number two, of course, is the size. And number three is one of three basic frame styles. One is an edgeless design, kind of sleek, sort of a floating image type of look. Uh, then they have a 5 8 inch thin bezel black velvet wrapped frame, and then there's a standard sort of traditional three inch velvet 
flat frame. They're also showing off their airlift projector lifts. These are ceiling lifts. The one that they're showing here is the Airlift 35. It's designed for smaller projectors in typical residential applications. So Barco is getting a lot of attention here at CDF for a couple of reasons. Their primary display at the show is a 208-inch Bifrost LED wall. Absolutely fantastic looking picture. But also a lot of attention for the Nerthus projector. It's a brand new 32,000 lumen projector designed for large home theaters and for screening rooms. DCI compliant for DCI packages. Uh, 3.9 terabytes of storage on board for that. Uh, it's got 750 to 1 uh, ANSI contrast, 5,000 to 1 on off, uh, five different lens options, uh, and it'll be selling for $225,000 approximately. We're with Mad VR at the show with one of our Projector Central Best of Show Award winners. We have the NV Extreme Mark II processor. This is uh, their top end processor that we recently reviewed. They're showing off their latest version of Motion AI Motion Interpolation. This is probably the best rendering we've ever seen of motion with the least amount of soap opera effect. EPV Screens, the professional division of Elite, is here at Cedia. They are demonstrating their Darkstar Max UST fluorizing screens for ultra short throw projectors. They're also showing off the Sonic Star AT Infinity screen. This is an acoustically transparent screen with a 1.0 gain and an angular reflective ALR material. So we're at the Epson booth and they've got four really cool demos going on here. First, over in the corner is the LS800, their 4000 lumen uh, ultra short throw flagship projector. Just received a best of show award from Projector Central. They're showing it on their Silverflex 0.6 gain lenticular ALR screen, 120 inch. Looks great, beautiful big image. Right in the middle, they're showing what the LS800 looks like with their wall mount which is an unusual application. You can't use a lenticular screen for that, so they've got it on a matte white screen innovations 1.3 gain screen. And in a reasonably moderately lit room, you actually get a really, really nice picture on it. Right behind me is a very unusual demonstration. This is not one of Epson's home theater projectors, but actually their EBPU 10008 entry level 8500 lumen commercial projector. And the idea is that they're starting to get some requests for projectors that'll fit a large screen gaming room. Finally, they have a room on the side, uh, a beautiful home theater demo with the LS12000 Kef speakers and an absolutely fantastic picture calibrated by Kevin Miller, the uh, industry's, one of the industry's best calibrators. We're at the JVC booth where the company is demonstrating its 8K theater using the top of the line NZ9 projector uh, and they're showing off a brand new firmware update that's due out in November. They're calling it Frame Adapt Generation 2 uh, in which they are generating a little bit of extra additional brightness out of the peak whites uh, as well as adding uh, USB stick backup and a 0 to 100 percent laser uh, power slider to let you zero in the light output for your particular installation. In addition to that, right behind me, we have the NZ30, which is their entry-level projector, their newer entry-level projector. It's a single-chip DLP, 3300 lumens, designed for high-brightness applications and gaming.
So the news at Samsung is a brand new second generation freestyle. This is the updated version with the Samsung Gaming Hub. They've added four or five uh, major online gaming apps to their Tizen operating system. And the company has also added a brand new solar powered remote control to help keep some of those batteries out of landfills. So LG is at CD is showing off a range of their projection options. We have their long throw AU810. We have the uh, PU700R, their brand new LED projector, lifestyle projector. And uh, of course, there are two ultra short throw options, the HU715Q and the flagship HU915QB, one of our projector central best of show award winners. So Sony's had a very busy booth here at Cedia. They're running two great home theater demos on the main floor, as well as showing off their projector line. Uh, but they've also got some great training going on to expose uh, dealers and uh, potential integrators to their, their product line. Uh, this rack you see behind me is part of that training process. They've got uh, all of their products set up for demonstration, as well as some good shootouts uh, against some competitors. So we're at the Daylight booth where they're showing off their full line of screens. Of course, the big focus is on the Sightline cable drop system. Uh, these are screens that go up to 189 inches wide. They can be uh, using the tension advantage or the regular advantage screen materials. And what's new for this year is a brand new SKU. It normally comes with a 70 inch default cable drop. You can now order it with a 10 foot cable drop for those really unusual locations with high ceilings. Stewart Film Screen is at the show promoting some existing products such as their Phantom uh, ALR, sc ALR screen as well as their Vistascope masking system. Uh, but brand new is the Blackhawk UST, uh, new lenticular ALR uh, material for ultra short throw projectors. Uh, they're showing it here with their popular Ballon Edge frame. Seymour Screen Excellence is partnered up with Storm Audio, Grimani Systems, Barco, and a number of other partners for what is being billed as the very first audio over IP full home theater demonstration here at CD. It's a great looking system using Seymour Screen Excellence's uh, and lighter Neo material. This is their top of the line acoustically transparent material. It's a random weave knit material full 4K resolution, no minimum viewing distance, essentially little to no effect at all on the sound quality, either from a frequency standpoint or an attenuation standpoint. Uh, really great looking screen. Uh, also, they are promoting their masking systems. They have three different levels of masking systems, as well as their fixed frame options. I'm at Screen Innovations where the company is showing off its full range of materials including its slate and its black diamond ALR materials and of course its ultra short throw uh, lenticular screens. One of the booth highlights is an instant theater uh, made in conjunction with its partner Aegis AV. This is the Andromeda theater system that has a base cabinet that fits any UST. They're using a Epson LS800 with it. It has built into it a 3.1 channel audio system from Next Level Acoustics, and all you have to do is hit the button and a 120 inch Screen Innovations UST screen pops up and you're ready to go. The other big news here at SI is some brand new partnerships, uh, including an exclusive distribution deal with Carbon Black. Now, Carbon Black is a uh, high-tech ALR material that we've written about before in Projector Central. It's a nanotechnology that basically gets excited by laser energy. So uh, you put an RGB laser projector on this and you punch some lumens into it and it is incredibly bright with incredibly dark contrast. It's a great looking screen. It comes in both 
uh, uh, standard and acoustically transparent options. It can be wrapped uh, in on, around almost any material. You could go as wide as 95 feet and 16 feet high before they even have to stitch together an extra piece. Uh, so that's a new option that's going to be available to all of SI's customers in a variety of different frame types. Another important partnership is with Display Technologies. They're now going to be working with this UK-based company that's known for its excellent masking systems and screens uh, to provide some wonderful masking solutions that are uh, very easy to install, less than an hour in most cases, uh, and work very, very well with a lot of the high-end processors that can tell the system exactly what aspect ratio it's watching and it reacts accordingly. So AWOL has been talking about a new projector that's coming out. The LTV 3000 is due out uh, around the end of this month. It is going to be a 2600 ANSI lumen model that slips in between their LTV 2500 and their LTV 3500 Pro model. Uh, $3,999. Uh, but they're showing here at the booth a variety of applications for the LTV 3500, their flagship projector. Uh, they've got it on a 150 inch screen uh, and showing off what it can do with a large screen like that. Uh, there's also a combination uh, 2.35 to 1 uh, projection with a pair of projectors edge blended to show what that might look like. That's on a 165 inch wide special order lenticular screen. Uh, and then behind me, they've got a brand new sort of uh, system that they're hoping to be able to sell at the end of this year or, or next year that'll include an LTV 3500 in an outdoor enclosure along with a drop-down lenticular screen. Well, that does it for our CDA Expo 2023 Highlights Reel from Denver. We'll see you next time.